he was a Malay legend. For us Malay, for us Malaysian, uh, that one is considered as our big history. Uh. My time, I will learn about it. Uh -huh. My time, we will learn about it. Not sure right now whether the syllabus is changed or not. But that one is uh, is from West Malaysia and especially from Malacca. Mm -hmm. So we only learn it because of the his great history, his great uh, achievement, mm -hmm. the way he protect Malacca from the pirates, from the invaders last time. But here, our stuff came from Batavia, the one that mm -hmm. we said last time. The old name for Jakarta is called Batavia. Batavia, but Batavia is Batawi. Our names came from Batavia, but the original of the, the origin of our silat also is from there. Haji Zainuddin, he when he was 13 years old, he started to learn silat Batawi from a guru called Mr. Mahli, Guru Mahli. And besides Batawi, he also learned the, the silat movement called Halang Menyamba. Halang means eagle. Uh -huh. oh. At that time, it was said that the, the activity is it's hidden, I mean, not open like this mm -hmm. because of the, the, the Japanese invasion. And it was stopped at that time. In 1945, when the British came, the sea life activity started to rise again, even though in a very slow movement. So, 1960, from the village called Kampo Masjid, Tuan Guru moved here and he was around the, the earliest people who opened this village and before he, he moved, he also managed to learn a silat called Hailam, Hailam Lao, there's another silat called Hailam from a guru named Muni Rebin Abu and he also learned a silat called Cekak Ketawi, the one that we do is like the Ayah Gopan. Yeah, he also learned the Cekak Ketawi from a guru named Muhammad Noam bin Toto. And as early as in his 30s, he was given the trust to teach silat to the villagers and to other who, whoever wanted to learn until his last breath. I can say that uh, silat is if, uh, can be identified based on their bunga, their, their, their pencak. So, Betawi has its own pencak or bunga, other silat has their own pencak or bunga. So, that is, you can say that it's our identity. So, this silat, when they do pencak, we know that this is that silat, the mm. name of the silat. So, if Betawi, uh, perform his bunga, his, his pencak, then we know that this is Betawi. The bunga is our identity. But the technique, in the end, the technique, the principle are the same. Uh -huh. Only the bunga will differentiate between Betawi and other silat. Uh -huh. Like like you, uh, like like Kapuera, we have the, you have the jingga, right? Uh -huh. The jingga will differentiate you from the other martial art or other the Kapuera uh, group. Uh -huh. So it's almost the same like us. Our bunga will differ us from other uh, other martial art, uh, other discipline of silat. In Betawi, we have, we have uh, thirteen bunga. Basic from number one to number four is is one 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 four one two one one three and one four five is slightly different. Mm -hmm. And then we have six six seven. Six, seven, eight, six, seven, nine. It's uh, it has its own base there. Mm -hmm. Like one to four, the base is from number one. Mm -hmm. so number one is simply one hit, and you hit, and you do the elbow. This one is the when you do bunga, it's like a dance, but this one is simply like you draw kick or somebody when you kick you block. Bring him down back, mm -hmm. but you do it in slow movement. It's one, two, four, five, 
6, 1, 7, and 8. We are at technique in Bunga Sandu. And we know that we do it for You do number three and number two.
Sekali di mana kau pun es dari dia sendiri. First the like the yes in all this they already have that. Yeah yeah yeah. Let's see it like this. Position you can see that it's nearer than this. Yes. Ah. The second piece. Okay. Yeah. The second. Ah. And as I said, once you get it. Yeah. Number one is this. Like this, right? Yeah. Ah. When you open it, use. Yeah. And then, ah, weapon. You have to. Kill is first. Yeah. Damage, damage, doing a damage. Boom. Ah, how's it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hit. 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 Yeah. Hit. 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 Better use the second one. Ah, this one too quite. Two. 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 Why we don't go like this? Okay. Why we don't go like this? This. This. I don't know. I watch a lot of video. So most common attack is this. Right? It's not this. Hey, what? So most common is this. So we try to practice this first. Okay.
instead of this, maybe you can say you can do this, this, and this, or this, the side. Okay. So sometimes they ask you to hold. But for me, I don't quite. Ah, so it's here. Yeah. performing different uh, bunga from our abstraction bunga from our syllabus and we showed the variety of our sembah sembah means uh, the, the, the greetings in, in Betawi we have a few sembah so not only this one uh -huh. like help me last time to eat this front uh -huh. I did the lower part and I also did the, the, the dance here. When I do the dance, you can see my hand is like this, right? It's called Tari Pedang, the dance of the sword. So when I When, when we were performing Sinat, sometimes the music will arouse our uh, spirit, I mean the, the strength to, mm. to perform better and it, it enlighten our spirit, I think, because of the drum, boom, 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 boom. just like when you're doing the thing, that, mm -hmm. that, that, that finger and that movement, when you have the music, Especially the drum and the serenai, you know serenai? 
Ah, oh, yes. Uh -huh. Like I personally, when I listen to the flute sound, I will get the feeling and it will arouse my spirit to perform very neat. The music will actually uh, follow the movement of the practitioner. Let's say the, 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 in, in, in the in the performance or in the tournament, in the up tournament of Silat, when the practitioner perform the technique, sometimes when they do the pencak, so the music will go slow. So whenever they do the technique, so they start to yeah, become faster and faster. The beat will become uh, energetic, uh, energetic, energetic. It depends on the the practitioner performance. Mm -hmm. So normally the music will follow the performer, not the performer follow the music. Mm -hmm. That's why we actually prefer when we perform, we like live music. We prefer live music rather than this, uh, the, the MP3 or the recorded, recorded one. Cross range is very good. For me, it's very good. Um, at least for me, eh? I like cross range because we can see the similar. First, we can see the similarities to, between other martial arts and our scene art. Yeah. But then we can also incorporate the technique, mm -hmm. not into the syllabus, but that's it. Like me, I incorporated the understanding of. Each technique. When you incorporate the technique, it helped me understand more about my own sila. And sometimes, what I maybe I mis uh, misinterpret or maybe I did not see it in my sila. But when I listen or when I look at other trainers explaining it, then I, uh, I can understand that it's actually in our sila also. But it's just that my understanding is not there. But when I look at other instructors or look at other martial arts principles and techniques, we have more similarities than differences. Right? Uh, the difference is only the styles and but the, the technique, the principles, the, the idea is more or less the same. So I like the idea of cross training because I like learning new things also. Actually, for me, it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good way to improve our our technique, our uh, especially our style because we brought Kali technique. Into our into our training, mm -hmm. then we improvise with our our technique. Uh, so to make uh, our student more uh, understand how I'm going to use their own technique, our technique, uh, we improvise other technique. My time, there is no cross training. Mm. We just do training. What we 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 uh, we learn our 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 technique, our movement uh, from our uh, from our from our own uh, our origin. Yes, we learn ourselves by uh, get out from get out from our own uh, origin. We, we teach, uh, we learn another, we learn another uh, martial art. Founder is my grandfather, Guru Haji Muhammad Ali, is his son. Mm -hmm. So, the relationship between Guru Haji Muhammad Ali and uh, Ma Sofian is first cousin. Uh -huh. and, I'm with Sofian and Jamil Madani. 
I was uh, yeah, he, he, he is considered as my nephew. But yes, he, I'm considered his nephew. nephew. <laughs> yes, uh, because uh, it's family relationship. Family relationship. <laughs> so uh, what family got tree, to family put, tree. Huh? Family, tree. family tree. Yes, family tree from our grandpa now uh, turn to Guru Haji Muhammad Ali and then uh, me and then uh, Sofian mm -hmm. uh, after this maybe Sofian but after, after him we don't know right now <laughs> because there is no family tree that uh, get uh, our silat in the blood. Ah, <laughs> yes. Silat is always in our heart. Ah, ah, always in our heart. Yes. Yeah. yes. Traditionally, we follow the follow the uh, follow the syllabus from basic one from the punching mm -hmm. the start. That that we call it uh, pelampas. Uh -huh. That's number one is this. That's two is this. We start starting. Ah. This is the starting basic. Ah. Uh, we we teach how to punch, how to block, how to how to kick, how to move left and right, how to move in front. Mm. Uh, that is the, the basic one before they start uh, learning uh, bunga. bunga. Yeah. Ah, so basically you do this, you do punch, punches, stances, uh, blocks, then you do the bunga, then, uh, then also you do the basic seven. We have to mix and match everything. Because last time when, when we learned silat, basic one is you come to the class, right? we came to the class last time, punch, left and right, one set 50 times and normally it will be around 500 to 1000 punches per night. Yeah. <laughs> then we, we did not learn other basic. Uh, so nowadays, if you do the same thing, I'm sure that most of the students will leave the class. Normally, for the first class, we will introduce basic one to number three or number four do it in a combo in mm -hmm. combo so they learn new things uh, in each classes we have to make it relevant to our time so nowadays the parents always ask for grades the, mm -hmm. the color of the belt last time we don't have that, that grading everything no mm -hmm. so we will Right now, we were, what we were going to do is, we are trying to do is to make it proper syllabus. Mm -hmm. So, we are documenting it and we are putting the grade. So basically, you have to, you have to invent the belts to yes. make it to make people happy yes. now. Right. Uh. Because still up, how do you have now that ranking? You uh. have not have that ranking thing. For us, still up is... Lifelong learning, uh -huh. but there was before. Now we face new challenges as well. Sometimes parents say, uh, "What they have? What have they learned today? What what they are going to get in three months time? What what rank they will get? Will they get in about one year?" So we have to face that more systematic. If we talk ten years later. Ten years uh, uh, before, uh, we, have, we have a lot of idea, and one one of the idea is if if we get an opportunity, opportunity we, we try to bring our silat outside from uh, Malaysia, uh -huh. out from their own origin, go outside, then get success. Because I think, think what what I can see is. Uh, our people, they don't open their mind, they don't open their eyes. What, what you can see with your eyes, without, and what you can see without your eyes. You, can, you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, actually, in 
see that basically there's a lot you cannot see with your eyes. If, if we can see most of the silat the way you go out from the oil origin, they can success. Because mm -hmm. the people outside they, they appreciate. They appreciate uh, they, they when when they when they learn they learn hard. They learn they, they take the opportunity to, to get the 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 what you call the knowledge. Huh? Knowledge. Yeah, yes, the, the knowledge. Not not for us but for the our our community. Mm -hmm. so we always for them because they don't learn they don't get the knowledge. Remember last time uh, we have no board. Yes. We have no board. And <coughs> the only side uh, this side is the grass. Yes. Only the starting, grass. starting from mm -hmm. uh, only that side. And I still remember that there's a uh, the, the building there. Mm -hmm. There Halim and his friend they hang the punching bag there. Mm -hmm. uh, Guru Ali used to stand there and teach us. We will face it. This part, this part, still grass. Mm. Only that part is the only uh, only uh, tree. No harm, no roof. Our guru, Tuan Haji Muhammad Ali, uh, he learned from uh, one of uh, his his uh, guru, which. Uh, Three time champion Indonesia in karate. A lot of experience in how to in breathing, breathing technique. We can use it for our health. It, it can use when you do a movement. You do a movement with your breathing technique. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it, it just not a. Uh, when you punch, you just not punch. You punch with. Breathing technique. Uh, so it's different. It's different. You do two in two in one. I mean two in one. You do five with breathing technique. That with combo. Uh, combo. Uh. You can feel the strength. Become fit. Ah, become fit. 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 Is that the right word? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this this uh, you you uh, without that breathing technique. With breathing technique. I become more hard, harder. Harder, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. When you do a breathing technique, actually, make sure all, all your oxygen in. You feel loose first. Ah, uh, loose first. And then you lock it here. When, when you, you take a breath, then take a breath. Look, uh -huh. the feeling there. Yeah. Uh, there. There's an article saying that most of us uh, breathe wrongly, except when we are sleeping. When we are, we are asked to take a deep breath, we normally take it and pull, it, pull our stomach back, uh -huh. which is uh, wrong. So, just like balloon, when you fill in the air, the balloon should mm -hmm. be getting big. The, the same principle with our body, when we pulling in the air, so it should be... You can see, you can see my stomach already. When you pull in the air, make sure you lock the air here. Breathe in, should be like... Should go out. Should go out like this, and you hold your <coughs> hold your breath like this. Hold it, and you do the punch with by holding your breath, not like letting it out. When you lock the, the your, your breath, but already actually you can speak. Speak this one, well. like like me. Okay, let's for example. Uh, Breathing in, I locked it, but I can still talk, and without letting the air out, and I can still breathe in without letting the air out, and I can still walk, 
Ah, so one part of the, the, the oxygen that you take, you keep here, and here you have this uh, circular breathing, no? Yeah, it is. Uh, it is the same when, when, you, when you do, when you make all the... When I will do this, you ask Sopian how he do punch, he do kick, he do... He hit, hit it, hit. yes. Uh -huh. Basic punch, block. We learn a year. I learn a year. Then upgrade. Then upgrade. Mm. Which will di uh, di differentiate with uh, Sophia time. Mm. He learn a month. A month. Mm. <laughs> our guru, he, he said that more, more, more important is our this one. Is ดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูด
You see my, my leg? I, I move my leg first. Punch. Okay. Punch. I move my leg first. Then. See. Okay. Punch. Punch. Okay. This is good. Send. 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 
tradição de preservar o grande mestre, de, por exemplo, de Silas, como o respeito que eles têm aqui, é uma coisa que eu vejo que na nossa arte capoeira, infelizmente, está se perdendo. E somente quem está aqui pode sentir essa energia, o respeito que eles têm para o seu grande mestre. Então, fico assim impressionado como é que é essa, essa arte, se elas mantém essa tradição há muitos e muitos anos e a capoeira, infelizmente, por causa da ganância, por causa dessa coisa de querer ganhar mais, né? por causa do dinheiro e outras coisas, fama, tem destruído essa tradição que acho que é tão importante nas artes marciais. Né? Então, para mim, eu fico até meio emocionado aqui quando eu vejo esse respeito que eles estão tendo com o seu grande mestre. Então, tá aí, ó, para vocês. Valeu, um abraço. <risos> 